it's Sarah and today's video is step number four in our crochet along. Now if you notice I've got the hat back on and that's because if you did steps one and steps two and step three you can make a hat. The only difference between the pillow and the hat is the hat is done in worsted weight number four yarns and I didn't put the bottom on. What I did is I made the top, I made the sides, and I left the bottom open, and then I went ahead and put all the facial features and the little handle on, and then I just popped it on my head and it fit perfect. So I think it will fit about a mm, 20 to 22 inch head. So if you wanna make it longer, you can add more rows, and if you want it to be just a little bit shorter, you can add less rows. It's totally up to you, but that's how you do this silly hat. And I'm gonna be going as, as a crazy, coffee-loving woman for Halloween. So if you come by my house, I'm gonna be wearing this hat. <laughs> so what we're doing is a week-long fall crochet along, if you haven't been following along. Don't worry, it's not too late. These videos will always be on my YouTube channel and the, the written pattern will always be on my blog. You can even save it in your Ravelry favorites. If you need step one, which is the supply list, it's right up there. Just click that link. If you're looking for step number two, which was the top portion to make the coffee, you're gonna need that. Click that link, because we're gonna be doing that exact same thing today for the bottom of our coffee. If you need step number three, which is the round portion, the brim and the body of the coffee cup, click that link. And today is step number four, which is the bottom of our coffee cup. Step number four is we're making a circle exactly like we did for step number two. I used the same yarn that I used for my sides of my coffee cup for the bottom of mine. You can use any color that you want to. You can continue with your coffee cup color or, you know, whatever you want to do. One thing to remember, whatever yarn weight you used for the first steps, you need to continue that in this step. And whatever hook size you used, continue that in this step. I'm using chunky number six, and I'm using my end hook, which is a 9.00 millimeter crochet hook. Now I've already made mine, and what you need to do is click that link for step number two and make another circle exactly like the first one that we made. If you want to, you can pause the video here Go make that circle if you can't remember how you did it, and then meet me back here. Once you've completed your circle, make sure you have 60 stitches around on your sixth row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do not tie off your yarn. Leave your yarn attached. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom of our coffee cup, and you need to decide where you want the back of yours to be. I'm gonna do mine here where I did my seaming somewhat and we're just going to put that up here like this got my yarn on the wrong side there we go and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stitching single crochets all the way around going through the bottom and the side bottom of our coffee cup i'm going to make a little chain one just to get my string or my yarn up on top I'm going to go through the first stitch on the bottom circle and I'm going to go through whichever stitch I've chosen to be my first one. I'm going to start over here, pull my yarn through and stitch a single crochet. Now we're going to do this all the way around and that's why it was real important to make sure that your last row on your coffee cup and your row on your circle both have 60 stitches. If you've got too many or not enough, it's not going to match up. So we're stitching single crochets 
going through the bottom and the bottom row of your cup, stitching them together. Now we're gonna do this all the way around until we get back around, but we're going to be leaving, you know, about a 10 inch gap so that we can stuff it. All right, so I'm just gonna continue around stitching single crochets, sewing the bottom of my coffee cup to the bottom edge of my coffee cup. And you'll see it's going to leave a nice little edge and that'll help your coffee cup sit up a little bit just a little bit of an edge to keep it from rolling over on you but we'll talk about some stuffing and ways to keep it from doing that when we finish this step i stitched those single crochets all the way around and i left me a nice gap eight or ten inches however much you want to leave a gap and now we can stuff it and um, some things that you can stuff it with now i'm going to be using this poly that I talked about at, uh, in step one, just because I want a nice fluffy um, pillow that's just gonna sit there and look cute. But you can put some different things in there. Like if you want to get a bag of those plastic beads and put it in the bottom so that it's heavy on the bottom. A friend of mine took some uh, gravel rocks, put them in a pillowcase, tied it in a knot, and put it on the bottom and then stuffed the, the top of it with regular polyfill so that it had a little weight in the bottom and you can do some of those things if you want to do some recycling um, you can use um, leftover or maybe some t-shirts you don't use anymore or some sweaters that you don't use anymore or maybe a blanket that you don't use anymore throw them through the wash make sure they're clean and you can use those for stuffing as well so there's a lot of different things that you can use to stuff your coffee cup especially if it's just going to sit there and look cute and not really be used for anything um, other than maybe toss it around the room at your friends <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna stuff mine with Polly and I'm just gonna keep putting it in there because I want mine to be really fluffy and and full of stuffing and, and the amount that you stick in there is totally up to you now the first coffee cup I did I used a whole 16 ounce bag of polyfill and um, I, I don't think I'm going to stuff this one quite that much but I'm just going to keep on sticking it in there until I like how full it is all right so I'm going to keep stuff in mine and you can decide what you want to put inside yours another thing that you can do I forgot about this that I've done in the past is if you have a pillowcase that you don't use anymore Put it through the laundry and then you can stuff the pillowcase with the polyfill and and then tie a knot in it and then you can stuff the whole pillowcase or you can even sew it closed if you want to what i did is i tied a knot in it and put the knot on the bottom um, when i did a pillow and that's another thing you can do if you're worried about your your stitches being big and your polyfill coming through so lots of options go ahead and stuff your pillow and then i'll show you how to close it up once you've got your pillow stuffed how you want it, we're just going to go right back to doing what we were doing and finish with single crochets going through both thicknesses, the bottom and the side, and close up our pillow. Whoops. I was just thinking it would be a lot of fun to pick up some of those styrofoam beads that they use for bean bags and put those in something like a pillowcase or some sort of a pillow and put it inside of this. That would be a lot of fun. All right, almost finished.
All right, one more stitch. Oops, get in there. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna join to that first single crochet and tie off. I'm gonna go in here and pull that string through. All right, now make sure that you took your big needle and you weave that end in nice and tight because you don't want that coming undone. And this is the way that your coffee cup should look at this time. It makes a nice little poof, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so that was step four. Tomorrow we're going to do step five and we're going to be adding, let me grab the other one. We're gonna be doing the eyes, the mouth, and the handle. So I'll see you tomorrow for step five and then we'll be finished.